It's the right time for an evening stroll. Especially after you did that. Tell us how it happened. I think I should start from the time when I left my girlfriend, Lynn Broadman. You had a difference of opinion. None of your business. Lynn became a drug abuser. I tried to stop it, but... In other words, her life was turning slowly but steadily into an ongoing nightmare. Mine took the same direction, too. When I laid down the conditions for her, either the stuff or me, she... I see. She didn't choose you. Go on, Mr. Geist. She changed incredibly. She stopped looking after herself. Started going into hysterics. You see, I couldn't devote much time to her. That work. Understood. She was standing her ground. Eventually, we parted company. So you left her just like that? Hmm. I thought you were a resolute character. So, let's hear your story. Tell me everything. Okay. I remember it started in the autumn. As usual, I was working in the bar, and everything was all right. But one damn moment, my ex-girlfriend, Lynn, came into the bar. Hi, Stevie. Hello, Lynn. Oh, we are so serious. What do you want? Money? Aren't you willing to fill a glass for a lady, my ill-bred friend? You're right. I'm not. Steve, please help me. So you need money? <laughs> Yeah. Nope. Please, Steve. 
I really need money. Uh, no, I see you need a fix. You're wrong, Steve. Stop it, Lynn. It's disgusting. I won't give you money to get the stuff. Go to your friend Haxley and beg for money from him. Did your drug addict friend know Alex Haxley? Yeah. I heard her saying that name several times. I shouldn't have talked in such a way. No, I shouldn't have. All right, all right. Let's go on. No, Steve, please don't say so. I left him. Them. Steve, those are terrible people, very terrible. They buy souls from humans and take them away from them, and the humans cry. Oh, Steve, how they cry. No, I won't return to them. Him. I decided to give it up. Yeah, really. Them. This is the last, the very last dose. Then I won't return to them. They'll take my soul away. Please, Steve. Oh, God, Lynn, that stuff has corroded your brain. I'm sorry, Stephen, for everything. I'm returning to them. Goodbye. We'll probably not meet again. She turned away and went to the exit. It all happened so quickly. I wanted to go with her, but I seemed to get numb that moment, and I was just following her. I called for Lynn a couple of times, but nobody responded. And then... Yeah, then I just watched the news. Today, not far from the notorious Alex Haxley's mansion, a crowd of Satanists affected by drugs attacked passers-by. Several people were taken to hospital with injuries varying in severity. The district is surrounded by policemen, and army units are also reported to be on the way. According to unconfirmed information, the attackers belong to the New Dawn Church led by Alex Haxley although he denied such an assumption. Then I decided to go to Alex Haxley's house, hoping to find her. Where did you get an idea like that? I understood that I had treated her badly, very badly. Nice evening. Slum, a rusty pipe. What else do you need to be really happy? It's the right time for an evening stroll. Peace. <laughs> 
I remember my mom warning me not to get inside wells. Just an excellent start to the evening, up to my knees in crap, and I don't know where to go. What a pleasant surprise. Down in the sewers. It's like a dream. 